Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we will see how to read multiple files using Python. And finally, we are going to be convert that readable files into a tablet format using pandas. Okay, so let's have a look at here. I have two sets of files here. CSV files, employee India data, employee USA data. And see here, I have seven records in this uh, employee underscore India data. And I do have also seven records in employee underscore USA data. Right. So now I'm going to be import these two files in a single statement. Right. Earlier, what we are trying to do, we go ahead and apply read underscore CSV function and read our data from a single file. Now we are going to be see how we can read multiple files at a time. Right. So for this, I'm going to be utilize a voice package here, globe package, pandas, and numpy package. Numpy can improve the performance of your reading. Right. So here, initially, I'm trying to pass a variable called files path, where my files are available. Then by applying glob, I'm going to be reading my files, all the files which are available in the files underscore path. And it's a wild code here, matching all the characters and ends must with the CSV file. Right, the glob can read all the recursive formats of your files, which are matching with .csv. Right, now, so here I'm trying to take uh, a dummy list initially, which does not have any data, then going to be read my files here. So for files in read underscore files. So this is my read underscore files and reading all my data into files one by one. Okay, now once the file is name is available passing by using read underscore CSV, I'm reading my first file, then appending my data into np underscore array values. This is the one. Okay, so let's try to execute this. Now my values are available in np array values. Okay, now let's see uh, what are the files it just read. And if you can print this one, see here. Initially, first it is going to read your employee underscore India dot CSV. Next it is reading employee underscore USA. Right, and if you can have a look at your np array values, See here, that is going to be store your data in a list format, right? So once the data is available in the list format, we are going to be apply some wish tags or arrays on this particular data to convert into array format. Okay, let's try to do that. How we are going to be convert into array format. So now I'm going to apply some arrays by using wish tag from numpy, right? Once the data is applied a wish tag here, it will go ahead and list this in array format. So once the data is available in the array format, then going to be convert to a tabular format by applying data frame on my mails underscore values. So finally, I'm going to be displaying my data here. So let's try to execute this one and see here, it just, Applied my wish tag to the array values, converted into arrays, then applying my data frame here. And if you can have a look at here, it does not have any headers. That's the reason if you can re execute by applying employee underscore data dot columns by passing required column names. That will go ahead and display along with your column names. And see the record, how many records are here? 0 to 13 is nothing but 14 records. It read all my for the record from both. Okay, let's see here. I do have mails values. And if you can execute this one, see the data is available in the array format. Right. So from the array, it is going to be convert your data into tablet format by applying data frame. So in this way, we'll go ahead and read our data from multiple files. Thank you, guys.